One of the biggest challenges that I see in working with couples is what I call when triggers collide. So let me just explain a little bit about what triggers are in case you don't know. Emotional triggers are feelings or emotional responses that arise from the past uh, in the present. So I, I'm going to say more and explain this more as I go through the video, but let me ask you this. Have you ever experienced, and, and I know you have, that both of you are locked into an intense argument and you cannot find a way out of it? Uh, it's often the case in a situation like that, that both of you are experience, experiencing an emotional trigger at the same time, and it's the worst. Today I'm going to show you with the use of movie clips what this looks like when it happens and what you can do to work yourself out of triggers. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Pam. I'm a licensed psychotherapist and a couples counselor. I am so deeply committed to helping you grow your relationship with each other. I say this all the time, but I firmly believe that when our relationships are thriving, we're thriving everywhere else in our life. So let's get started. Let me show you the first clip. It's from the film Goodwill Hunting, and Will and Skylar are going to help us understand when triggers collide. But first, let's watch Will. He's talking with his therapist, and he is sharing that he met a girl that he likes, but he hasn't asked her out yet. So let's watch. Beautiful, she's smart, she's fun. It's different from most of the girls I've been with. So call her up, Romeo. Why, so I can realize she's not that smart, that she's f***ing boring? You know, I mean, you don't, this girl's like f***ing perfect right now. I don't want to ruin that. This is the first indication that Will has a lot of fears. And so fear is a trigger for him. Will in the movie is a highly intelligent man who is traumatized by his abusive past. He's learned to build uh, an emotional impenetrable wall around himself, isolating himself from the world to protect his vulnerability. And this self-imposed solitude stems from fear of being hurt, and I'm sure in uh, many ways stemming from his early experiences. So any threat to this protection, especially any hint of emotional intimacy, triggers defensive and avoidant behavior in Will. Skylar, the girl that he is dating, lost her father. He died when she was young, so she has a trigger of loss, which in relationships means she fears being left in any form by someone that she loves. Emotional triggers, like I said, are feelings or responses that arise from past experiences, often causing an individual to react in certain ways sometimes anger, sometimes withdrawal. When two individuals bring their own unique set of triggers into a relationship, there's a high chance that these triggers will collide, meaning you'll both experience them at the same time. But what I'm going to do is break down a scene for you where you will see that each of them are simultaneously being triggered. Let's watch. I want you to come to California. You sure about that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, but how do you know? I don't know. I just know. So Skylar is vulnerable here by asking Will to move to California with her, and he reacts with caution and doubt. Let's keep watching. Like I said, this is one scene, so I'm just going to keep showing you parts of the scene, and I'm going to explain to you what's going on. Okay, so let's watch. I, I know. You could be in California next week and, you know, you might find out something about me you don't like and, you know, maybe you wish you hadn't said that, but, you know, it's such a serious thing that you can't take it back and now I'm stuck in California. Someone doesn't really want to be with me, just wish they had a take back. Uh, so much fear. Fear of being abandoned, fear of not being loved. So much fear. And remember when he was talking, I just showed you the clip when he was talking to the therapist, and he said he didn't want to ask this girl out because she was perfect. 
he was likely also projecting because he didn't want anybody to see his imperfections. So let's keep watching as this unfortunately escalates. I just want you to come to California with me. Well, I can't go to California. So this is the beginning of Skylar being triggered. She feels rejected and unloved in the moment. You can see the hurt in her face. So let's keep watching. Uh, one, because I, I, I've got a job here. And two, because I live here. Look, um, if you don't love me, you should just tell me I'm because it's such a- I love you. So she puts it right out there and that she thinks that he doesn't love her. Again, she's reacting from her trigger. They don't know it, but they are both slowly drowning here. Both of them are triggered and they have no idea that they're being triggered. Like I said, she's feeling unloved and he's trying to protect his vulnerability by keeping up his walls because he fears getting hurt. Both of them fear getting hurt. This is what I mean when I say that triggers collide. This is gonna get more intense, so let's keep watching. What are you so scared of? What am I so scared of? Well, live in the safe little world where no one challenges you and you're scared shitless oh, no. to do don't, anything don't, else. Because don't that tell me about my world. Don't tell me about my world. I mean, you just want to have your little fling with like the guy from the other side of town. Then you're going to go off to Stanford. You're going to marry some rich <laughs> your parents will approve of and just sit around with the other trust fund babies and talk about how you went slumming too once. So when someone is fearful, the last thing to do is point it out to them. It puts the other person on the defensive. It's, you know, like we saw here. It's not like he's going to say in that moment, oh, you know what, you're right, I am scared. And then she immediately makes accusations by telling him that he lives in a safe world where no one challenges him and you're scared to do anything about it. And then what often happens is that he attacks back. He took her most vulnerable thing, the loss of her dad, and smacked her with it. He knew that she has a trust fund because of the death of her father. This is sadly what happens when both people are triggered. They attack as a way to push the other back. When you're angry and attacking, you're not being vulnerable. It can feel safe to be angry and attack, but you're not really safe because you're being attacked. Both people are triggered, just continue to hurt each other more. Let's keep watching. Why are you saying this? What is your obsession with this money? My father died when I was 13 and I inherited this money. You don't think every day I wake up and I wish that I could give it back, that I would give it back in a second if it meant I could have one more day with him, but I can't and that's my life and I deal with it. So don't put your shit on me when you're the one that's afraid. I she shares her pain, but she also attacks him again when she says, you're the one who's afraid. She's afraid too. So let's see how he responds. I'm afraid. What, what, what am I afraid of? What the f am I afraid of? You're afraid of? of me. You're afraid that I won't love you back. You know what? I'm afraid too. F I want to give it a shot and at least I'm honest with you. I'm not honest with you. No, what about your 12 brothers? Here she does admit that she's scared too, and this is good, but she keeps at him when she says, at least I'm honest. Now, I mean, the truth is that he's not been honest with her. He created a whole story that he thought would be accepted by her, so that's not her fault. So let's watch and see how he responds because he's been exposed. No, you're not going, you're not leaving. What do you wanna know? What, that I don't have 12 brothers? Yeah. That an orphan? Yeah. No, you don't want to hear I that. Didn't know no, that. you don't want to hear that. You don't I want to hear that I got that. cigarettes put out of me when I was a little kid. Oh, yeah. Because I want to help you. Because I help want to be help me. With... The f do I got a f sign on my back that says save no. me? Do I look like I need that? No, God, I just want to be with don't you because bullshit. I love you. Don't bullshit me. So I want to break down this clip from the beginning of what you just witnessed. Um, it was not a good idea for her to corner him and say that he's not leaving. This will only escalate both of them. She was frightened. She was frightened of losing him. So she was trying to, you know, get closer when, you know, he needed distance. He felt trapped and cornered, which is extremely triggering for someone who's been abused. 
<clears throat> he lost all control. She tries to move, move closer to him, which for him is terrifying. Both of them needed boundaries in place. She needed to let him go, or he needed to leave, knowing that his, es his anger was escalating. Telling him that she wants to help him, he hears that he's defective. It's shaming for him, and it's not her job to help him. As she moves in and touches him, she's likely feeling compassion and anxiety. She fears that she's losing him. So she tries to move closer to him, but for him, this is threatening. So as hard as this is to watch, it's a perfect example of both of them being triggered at the same time. What do we do when this happens? The best thing is self-awareness and insight. When we know our triggers, we can manage them. If there are blind spots, we will react to them as both of Will and Skylar did. Will can learn to acknowledge his fears and recognize the necessity for emotional vulnerability. And Skylar can come to terms with Will's rejection, understanding that his actions were a re reflection of his trauma and not a measure of her worth of being loved. All of this is such hard work. All of us have triggers, all of us. And when we understand them, it can be liberating because when we are self-aware, we don't have to live in the past, we can live in the present. My mantra for triggers is it feels the same, but it is not the same. Both of them felt trauma from the past. For Will, it's not the same because he's not being abused by Skylar. And for Skylar, she has choice. She can let Will walk out the door. That is not the same as her dad dying. She can realize that he is not reacting so much to her, but to his own trauma. Again, this is complicated, but like I said, when you understand your triggers, that's when you have gained a healthy control of yourself and how you respond to others. So thank you so much for watching. I do hope you found this video helpful to you. And please let me know in the comment section how you manage your triggers or how you um, even gain an understanding into knowing what your triggers are. It might be helpful to those who are reading the comment section. I'll see you soon.